has reacted angrily to criticism from the West over Sunday's violent protest in Tehran in which eight people died. The Foreign Minister, Manu Shermotaki, said Western nations had a secret agenda in Iran. He said Britain would receive, as he put it, a slap in the mouth if it didn't stop its nonsense. The President, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, has described opposition protest as a nauseating play staged by the US and Israel. Neil Bowdler now reports. The Iranian authorities are seeing red over Britain. They've seized on comments made by the British Foreign Secretary, David Miliband, in which he hailed the great courage of opposition protesters. From the country's chief diplomat, there was this rather blunt response. The protesters shouldn't get excited about a couple of baseless statements made by some countries. If Britain does not end its nonsense remarks, it will be slapped in the mouth. Tough words by the government and tough words on the street. This was a pro-government rally in Tehran, calling for the arrest of the leading opposition figure, Mir Hossein Mosavi, and calling for the execution of the opposition protesters. From Mr. Mosavi himself, there's been little word. But there are fresh claims over the death of his nephew in Sunday's bloody protests. By phone, they told we will kill you, and they did. During last week of his life, several times, the Iranian secret police call him and inform him that we will kill you, and they did. From one car, five person from secret police uh, come in front of him and shoot by gun to his uh, chest. And uh, before arriving to hospital, he dead. The secret police thief his body, and still uh, they didn't give back his body to his family. No word either on the fate of the sister of Iran's Nobel Peace Laureate, Shirin Abadi. The French Foreign Minister, Bernard Kushner, has called the arrest of opposition activist, Nushin Abadi, unacceptable. Neil Bowdler, BBC News.